welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock swish and reviewing Microsoft. This was the stock swish show play of the day yesterday. And I also called a put yesterday too, which you could have got out of yesterday with good profit. You could have got out of it today with good profit. You could still be in it. As it turns out, the market fell today, which I really predicted that it would. I, the gap up today made no sense to me, but long story short, we did fail and sold off today into the close, and this went with it. Again, you could have been out of this today before four, could have been out of it yesterday, you could still be in it. So this was a put that does not expire until next week. I've been trying to give a good amount of time for things. Again, if you are still in it, let's just take a look at a couple numbers here. 329, uh, 325, 320, dream target. In fact, let's look at the market. So right now it is, well, right now we're bouncing. We're bouncing here from this hard sell up that we had into the close, um, but it's a baby bounce. It's a little bit of a baby bounce here from where we closed up 50 cents, less than that. So tomorrow's a long, 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 long way away from this market. Wow, look at this, look at this here. It's very interesting. Very interesting, this market. So I think that this is one of these ones where you really couldn't have screwed up this trade. No matter where you got out of it, it was a really nice trade and a really good call and it made money. And this was earnings from the previous night into this night. Again, that seems like so long ago now. Here it's Thursday evening going into Friday to end the week. But overall, people that were so, so bullish on this market, you can't deny when you look at a bar like today, you can't deny that's very, very bad. Um, and we do have some very big earnings coming up next week, but you know nothing that's gonna affect the market necessarily tomorrow morning. The market's gonna do what it's gonna do tomorrow morning. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're down tomorrow as well. So we could be gapping down tomorrow morning fall. We could gap up tomorrow morning and fall. We could gap down a lot. Let's look at the spy here quickly. So Microsoft was a nice put, had a couple good puts here uh, this week, and who would have thought? This is taking forever. A lot of volume here. Wow, this is really taking forever to load up. What the heck? Yeah, we're about 50 cents, up 50 cents here. Same thing in the spy. All right, we'll see where we are tomorrow morning. So Microsoft was one of those trades where you couldn't have screwed it up. No matter where you got out of it, it was a nice trade, a profitable trade. Whether it was the day that I called it, whether it was today, it'll still be up tomorrow too. Again, nice to see some follow through with some of these options. Um, and I think that that is a sign, a sign of things to come between now and the rest of the year. Good luck, everyone. And if you're interested in joining the Gap Options newsletter, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great night.